the last thing that this game needs is maps. We need more maps. We've already got great gameplay, great OST, huge character roster, but for some reason we're lacking in the maps department. And don't give me that excuse that all of these maps are like harder to create because there's so much going on in them. No, the maps that you didn't put in the game, Bandai, are like the simple ones like Kami's Lookout or Spaced or Kame House. Like these are the simple stages that were like for some reason weren't in the game. It's been a, it's been a pretty controversial topic about the game leading up to its release and as of right now. So modders have taken it upon themselves actually to add these maps into the game and it's pretty damn easy. So I don't know why it wasn't added. Hopefully we get these stages as free DLC, paid DLC, whatever. We need these stages at some point. So I've already seen this. We're just going to kind of go over it. And honestly, it's pretty cool if you haven't seen this, because to see these high action, high fast paced matches on these maps is, is pretty lit. So let's check it out. Shout out to VM Games. So they're showcasing the space map right here. And this is a, another map that a lot of people thought was going to be in the game just because, you know, Beerus fought Goku in space or whatever, but it wasn't. So it's pretty nice. You know, it's just an infinite void. So what would you have to do to like, you know what? Whatever, we're just going to look at the gameplay. So we got Kefla versus 18 on this bitch. We had nothing really to show, not too much, but it's it's a cool little background. We got like the asteroids in the background and stuff. And I believe a lot of these stages were in the game's files, you know, um, just like how Supreme Kai is in the game's files, like there's his models in the game. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Then we've got, I believe the next stage they show is, where is it? You can tell the mod's a little buggy. There's a lot of clipping. Like, what is this? What is this introduction, bro? Like, what the fuck? Is this Tenkaichi tag team, bro? Well, we got two people on the same team, bro. And then they just get straight to boxing. But yeah, this stage looks cool. Is that Goku's house? Yeah, this looks lit. Just another like nature kind of stage. You know, it would be cool to even just fight here. Like, fuck it, why not? Pull up on Goku's crib. And that reminds me, there was another stage in here. I think he goes to, yes, Kame House. The man goes to Kame House on the next one. And this stage is literally in the story mode, bro. It's literally in the story mode. We've seen it, the very first cutscene during like the, the Raditz arc or whatever. It takes place here, so just make it into a stage. But enough, enough complaining. Again, let's just get right into it. Why that nigga moving like that? Yo, this looks nice, bruh. Underwater section 2 is like programmed in there. That's nice. Look at that shit. Got Kame House in the background back there. This stage looks gorgeous, by the way. Like, so pretty. They can make the water like a little bit deeper, too, around there. Very pretty. But yeah, this one again, another like self explanatory one. Got that double sun. And then I think this video has one more stage. It's a. Uh, which one is this? The fuck is this? Is this supposed to be Kami's Lookout? Okay, this one obviously needs work. Here's another space stage. This one looks dope. Like the background and shit. Yo, this one's pretty. Wow, look at the that, that looks nice. Yo, nah, this one looks so clean. But yeah, I think there was two more stages that I did want to go over. So this one's Nameless Planet, which was like an arc, an entire arc that was skipped in the Dragon Ball Super storyline for some weird reason. And if you don't know, this is the tournament from like 
That one arc in Dragon Ball Super. It's a little loud. So yeah, you're just fighting on the tournament stage. It, it's just cool to have variety, right? That's why a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of demand for it. You know, Goku fought hit in this arc. And this is the same outfit that he wore in that arc, too. I don't see, like, the, the character portraits of Champa and uh, Beerus anywhere. Oh, maybe they are in the back. I think I see it right here. See, this would just be dope. Look at look at that shit. Another tournament venue, too. I think the very last mod that we have is going to be the Xeno Expo. This was clean, too. Okay, the fuck? How come all the modern niggas are like, they don't speak English, and I don't know why. So this is the, uh, I think this is where Goku met Zeno. And this is from the main menu too, when you go to like the section where um, you're talking to Zeno and shit. I don't know why he just keeps getting achievements. But yeah, this place looks cool too. It looks it looks huge. It really gets to show you like just how big these stages are like compared to the last game. But yeah, this is lit. I got a spear bomb on the stage. Yeah, that looks tough. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all the stages. Um, if you want to check any of these mods out, you can just do a Google search for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero mods. Um, I've got I'll put the niggas channels in the description for whoever made these mods and hopefully try to credit these people. But that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'm going to be posting some more mod videos, kind of giving more updates on the Sparking Zero mod scene. So check me out if you want to like stay tuned to that kind of stuff because you know these mods are being pumped out like fast as hell. So hope you like the video. Take care. Focus on what matters. I'm out. Stay.